Ooh. Hey everyone, Francis here. Um, welcome to 31 Days of Halloween with Francis. And today we're doing day number nine. I did fall behind because I had a little mishap with my phone and I had to get the screen repaired and I really record off of my iPhone so there was a slight setback but I'm trying to catch up as quickly as possible. I do have a fall tutorial that's unrelated to the Halloween themed videos I've been doing and I'll be putting that out soon so watch out for that. Okay so today's video is going to be a decoration haul like I wanted to try to do like maybe like items that were like five dollars or less so all this stuff is from like the dollar section in Target and the Dollar Tree and just to try to give you some ideas of you know what you could do with these items or just stuff I wanted to share first I want to show you these adorable felt cutouts that I found at the dollar store at the Dollar Tree this witch she's got a little boot look at that that's so cute she is missing a leg but I think I did that but I could fix this easily I just had to put it back but it's adorable the little hair it's a, it's so cute you can put this anywhere the last couple years I've been doing the the theme in my house that's a little more gory so this year I wanted to try to do something a little more a little more on the cute side or traditional Halloween so every year I have a different theme so last year was gory this year it's gonna be adorable and traditional this guy is so cute I can't wait to carve a jack-o-lantern I love doing them I always like cheat and use like those little books where you just like punch the holes and you just cut it out some of them are really hard to do so there is some work involved there and then here's the last one which is so cute it's just a little ghost that says boo it's got these little guys on there you can put them you know wherever you have a blank space and they'll instantly remind you of Halloween and they're adorable you know just setting up a couple items around your house will really bring out the Halloween spirit in your home I remember when I was a kid my mom she used to just buy these really cheap cutouts and stuff they were just cutouts but she'd buy like a a bunch of different ones and then she'd just hang them up in the ceiling with like tacks even though it was so cheap and I didn't realize it as a kid you know I thought it was magical because it was just like all these little little things to remind you of Halloween hanging up in the ceiling and and I don't know Halloween is always they've there's always been really really good 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 memories as a kid with Halloween going trick-or-treating there was only one year and I might share that story that Halloween like scared scared me so bad one year but it didn't stop me from loving Halloween the rest of my life it was just one incident but it didn't stop me I'm still in love with Halloween it's my favorite talk about this <gasps> Ooh, look at this little witch hat this was from the dollar store the lady accidentally gave us two though because they were stuck together so oops sorry so we're gonna probably put like one on one side and then one on the other or you know to kind of make it look symmetrical because we're like death the kid like that huh you could probably also prop these up like like next to a lamp or or on a bookshelf or something like that or you don't have to hang them on the wall you can even hang it from the ceiling and then I have these really cool from the dollar store I have these black roses and these purple roses I actually have an idea for a DIY that's coming up but I wanted to show you something that you could do which would be really cool I also found this jug at the dollar store 
it's really cool you can also use it for juice but you could also just like pop these little guys in there and then look it's just makes like a really nice easy centerpiece to put on the table I think it's so simple and it just looks really cool so there's that idea I have another idea coming up but I'm actually gonna make a video for that so I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet I have this creepy creepy cloth you can find these anywhere now I'm sure it's better to get them at the dollar store because they are a dollar I know like some places also sell these but they sell them for a lot more and it's just you know some cheap old cloth that they dyed black you know so I always go to the dollar store first and see what they have is my suggestion as well is always go to the Dollar Tree first if you don't want to spend a whole lot on Halloween that way you have more money to spend on other things like candy and costumes and food you can get a vinyl tablecloth and then you can take this and put it over top I've done that before it looks really cool it almost looks like you know like spider webs on top of it you can also use this like like they show in the picture and like drape it around like so you could put it over your normal curtains to give it a little more of a gothic kind of look any table to add a little bit of that Halloween touch or darkness you can drape this over the top of your couch or chair you can even use it as a runner and like you know put some centerpieces and some candies in the middle you know just lay them out like everywhere and then put little fake spiders and stuff like that in the center add a centerpiece or a punch bowl or whatever you want to do all right i hope i gave you a lot of ideas of what you could do with this if you use your mind you can come up with a lot of creative stuff that's very very inexpensive this one i found at target i was gonna i was supposed to mention it last time but i didn't and it's this really cool lantern i think i got this for three dollars in the target like you know one to five dollar section and I think this one was three dollars I'm pretty sure it was three dollars if it's not then please I stand corrected what it is is it's just like pops open like this and you can put a little eh, candle inside and then you close it up and it like you know makes little shapes you can use uh, fake candles the ones where they have just like a little switch and you switch it on. They're like little tea lights. I actually have some here I wanted to show you. Let me see. And they look like this. I've I've opened one of these already. And it actually changes colors. Like a lot of the things you see these days. You like flick it on and it like kind of goes through colors. Kind of like a Christmas tree. But I thought this would be really cool. To use for my little lantern that I have or you can use it for a jack-o-lantern or I have a couple DIYs I got these for but those are just a couple ideas and I wanted to show you you know how it works see so it goes from a uh, green and then blue yeah yeah there's a red it comes off weird on camera though but yeah these last a certain amount of hours and you get two for a dollar you can't go wrong for Halloween it's so they're so simple and they're safe you know kids can use these they won't hurt anybody and you know once you once they're they stop working you can either replace the batteries or just chuck it and you only paid pretty much 50 cents for this little guy so it's a good way to go I also got some of these little eyeballs now these are like ping pongs and like so if you're into like beer pong or whatever kind of pong you could totally use these to kind of make the game more interesting I'm actually going to use these for a DIY and just little eyeballs you can do a lot of cool stuff with this you can put them like inside of a base you could put them in a bowl of candy that uh, 
you give out to the little kids and it's just something a little spooky inside of the bowl. And if they take one, who cares? Like, look how many you get for a dollar. That's just one idea. Another thing I found at the dollar store is this cute, well, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to call it cute. <laughs> This is a skeleton guy. You know, it's one of those plastic hangups, and these things are cool. You know, you got some clutter in your house, or, or something you want to cover up because it totally like kills the mood. Like, say, I don't know, like you have a really, really, really nice uh, picture of a bunny over there, or something too cutesy for Halloween. You could easily just, you know, tape this, or you could use tape, or. Uh, tacks and just tack this over that area and it automatically will transform that space or you could just put these on a door even if you want to just keep people out of a certain section you can like you know tack these up around the area you want people to not go and then you know obviously it's like an imaginary wall if you're having a party then you know sometimes there's places in the house you don't want people to go so you can put these up and people will usually won't try to cross over, you know, if you have a lot of them walking a certain area. So there's a couple ideas with those and they're only a dollar. This next item is from the dollar section in Target, but it, this is one of the three dollar items. <gasps> Look how adorable. If you have a hot glue gun, you could totally put this together yourself, but I just thought it was adorable. You can loop this around like the edge of the table that you're serving or you can just hang them up on the wall. They probably look cooler that way and just put up a whole bunch of the, you know, those fake webs that cost it. You can get those at the dollar store too. I didn't ha I don't have those with me now, but I have a ton of them and they're just, you know, those little stretchy webs. They work so much better if you stretch them out the way they say on the packaging. We tacked like the whole ceiling with it because we made it so huge. And then we put tons and tons of spiders in it. It looked actually really, really cool. Like pinned it in the middle and it kind of like bowed down on certain areas. And we kind of pinned it to look like, you know, sections of a spider web. It was really cool looking. Another one I have, it's a similar idea. This one actually, you get a lot of them. And these, this again is $3 in the Target section. I believe they sell them in the same area. Yeah, this one's the same too. It's there's more on the back, so you get it quite a bit for three dollars, and it's already done for you. I mean, by all means, if you want to sit around a table and make little guys like this, I'm sure it it wouldn't cost a lot to make this yourself. <laughs> you gotta excuse me, man. I'm so I'm really really tired. Um, the last thing I want to show you is this little glitter skull really cool you know I just thought it was a little glitter skull I can throw onto the counter but you know or the little table and make it look cooler but then I noticed it had a switch on the bottom and look oh I had to pull the tab <laughs> oh my goodness and the light inside of the sockets change color how freaking sweet is that and it was only a dollar. They have different colors too. They have purple, silver, black, and I think, I'm not sure if they have orange. I want to say so because it's Halloween, but I'm not 100% on that, so don't quote me. <laughs> anyway, so that about wraps up this decoration haul and suggestion corner, I guess you would call it. I have a lot of really cool DIYs coming up so I hope you stick around to see those and as always remember to always be genuine to yourself and be kind to others and never give a crap what negative people out there have to say about you this is Francis see ya <laughs>